We're down here at Oregon State University. I'm with Dana. Dana, today we are talking moles, voles, and gophers. Awesome. And there are, you know, you were telling me a little earlier, I didn't realize there are so many different varieties of moles. There are. Uh, we have here in the state of Oregon up to four different species of moles. In the Willamette Valley, though, we'll primarily be able to encounter the largest bodied species, which is the Townsends. And then, you know, there's, there's differences between those, but you know, between a vole and a mole, I think there's mm -hmm. a lot of confusion as to what the difference between those Oh, two. absolutely. Um, voles are the little guys that we see that frequently get called field mice. They work both on the surface and also below ground in little tunnels, and they eat vegetation, specifically herbs like grass and forbs, although they do get in trouble for chewing on uh, young, shrubs and the bark of young trees and things like that. Whereas our moles are actually hunters. They are tracking down earthworms primarily, grubs, slugs, uh, beetle larvae, other, uh, let's call them bugs, <laughs> that are living in the soil. And so they burrow in order to find their prey. Okay. And then what about gophers? I mean, I think of caddyshack when I think of gophers. But, yeah. <laughs> yep, caddyshack type gophers are also, so depending on the species, they're either eating a combination of plant material or and or seeds, and it also depends on the, the uh, time of year what they'll be eating. And people often get the gopher hills and the mole hills mixed up. Uh, because what you're seeing in each case is just a big explosion of dirt on the surface of your lawn, potentially. Right. And, you know, when you see those big, big mouths, can you kind of tell, you know, from which critter down below is, is pushing that up? You can if it's fresh, and that's really the key to it, is to get out there and look at it before your dog checks it out, or the kids, or rain and sun and things like that. In fresh soil that's been thrown out of the ground by one of these animals, you can tell by where they quit digging, there will be a little plug that actually starts to fall back into the hole. And if that plug is at the edge of what we'd call a fan of dirt, then that would be a gopher hole. And if the plug is right in the middle, I like to remember mole in the middle, uh, if that plug's right in the middle of a more conical pile of dirt, that's a mole hill. Okay. And, you know, and a lot of times, you know, people plant bulbs in their yard and say, mm -hmm. oh, the moles ate my bulbs. Is, are mm -hmm. they actually down there eating bulbs or they're you know things? they might have a chomp or two at that that's possible with the larger bodied species we have here in the willamette valley it tends to uh, be more of an incidental thing uh, they're growing along going after those worms and keeping your grubs down and then oh here's a nice fleshy Sorry. plant fruit for me to chomp on and then they'll keep going but to the person who owns that bulb it may not be so right. incidental. But, so. but there are, you know, we're talking some benefits of, of these. There's not, they're not always a, a horrible thing to have in your yard. No, they aren't. They actually are performing an important ecosystem service that we don't even see below the surface. They're aerating the soil. They're moving nutrients down from the lower levels back up to our growing zone for our plants. And they're also aerating to help water infiltrate and soak through the soil. So if we can tolerate them, it's not a bad thing. So That's if we, right. you know, maybe just to remove the move the hill, is that the best way if we want to keep it? We can. In? If the hill is really causing a problem, either it's unsightly or it's fouling your equipment, you could just spread the, the dirt out. Um, it'll bring some of that nice aerated fluffy soil to the surface and so, let it blend in. Right. You know, so there's there's so much information on, you know, moles, bulls and gophers that I had no idea there was yep. that that many around. You know, That's mostly right. we just see the mountains and the and the tunnels and get yeah. irritated, but there's def definitely some benefits of having those. There are some unsung benefits to those right. guys, yes. Yeah, you know, so you know, for more information on the moles, bulls and gophers, make sure you go to the Oregon State University Extension's website or you can go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over. So Dana, it's been a pleasure learning all about moles, bulls and gophers and oh. you know, I know I have them in my yard. I might just rethink what I think about them now. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you.